Hi there dear fans and subscribers. Sorry for the recent videos where I show my face and where I'm holding long monologues of text without showing much insects. But really I'm just planning ahead of time when I expect my channel to have more subscribers than it does right now. So I was making some necessary updates and preparations. So after releasing the WhatsApp group and some community updates and a reworked uh, crowdfunding platform we are back to the moths and I guess today is a nice day to start ahead with the moths again because I just had this beautiful moth from Ecuador hatch in captivity now if you're wondering what species it is it only has a scientific name and it's known as the Automeris belti I repeat Automeris belti and it has two color forms, uh, a light color form and a dark form. This is the dark form. The light form has more some kind of a brownish color, while the dark form has more grayish wings. But what's really spectacular are the hind wings, which have these rich uh, pink colors really. And these yellow, yellow eye spots here. Well, the eye spots aren't yellow, technically they are black, but you get what I mean, you know. It's a nice moth, it's, it's also medium sized Automeris, although, well, is it really medium sized? Most Automeris, the average species is about this size. And when they are startled they reveal their hind wings, but when, predator, when they are not being disturbed by anyone, they can fold their forewings like this. Let's see if I can subtly do it. Yes. And now, now it just looks like a dead leaf. Do you see that camouflage? From far away, I wouldn't really spot it. But when somebody is bothering it, like for example, uh, I'm a predator, and boom, here we go with the eye spots. Oh, it's even doing a threat display, that's really beautiful. Very nice to see this. Honestly, I'm a big lover of Altimeris. And um, for me, these are just really the most beautiful silk moths in the world. Now what's really ironic is that I also suck at breeding them sometimes. I've had a lot of unique Altimeris species this year behind the scenes but I failed to rear many of them which is kind of disappointing. Uh, so, But I'm gonna try again next year because I have some very good contacts in other countries who are about to ship me many eggs and cocoons of similar species. Just like this one. And I really plan to sh show you many Altimeris species next year. You've probably already seen my video about Altimeris iris and Patagoniensis this year, if you haven't, check it out. Now, if these paired, this is a male right here. Females are even bigger, I think, maybe even twice the size. So, if these paired, I think they would be easy to raise. This is one of the easy species. The difficult to raise species from my experience, they come from highlands and they do not tolerate, um, they do not tolerate uh, too much heat and they also have special requirements in regards of humidity. So let's just show here this beautiful black thorax here. It's really an amazing moth. And I think as food plants it would be very convenient. This this is a, the kind of moth that's actually very polyphagous. It will eat many things. So I think I think I could really raise it on um, on oak tree or even bramble or even willow. But I guess we'll see about that if they want to pair for me. And I really hope they will pair. Thanks for watching and until next video. And by the way, I cannot promise anything, but. I had just had a clue that there's a chance that this year I will have some very unique uh, Automeris species coming up. Including some of the biggest species in the world. But I'm not gonna name any of them yet because I have yet to receive them. So don't count your chickens before they hatch they say. Thank you for watching.